On October 3rd, 2008, President George W. Bush signed the Troubled Asset Relief Program into law, TARP, legislation that bailed out the banks in this country so that the world's Great Recession would not be the world's Great Depression 2.0. In return for the billions of dollars that the banks received, not one banker was forced to pee in a cup. Contrast that with politics this year in three dozen states across the country, where Republican lawmakers have proposed drug testing, forced drug testing, of Americans who are asking for a very different kind of help. Americans applying for welfare or food stamps or other public programs that help poor families. One lawmaker in Ohio is trying to make bankers and other recipients of government money in Ohio live by the same standards being asked of the poor. Joining us tonight for the interview is Ohio State Representative Robert Hagan. He's a Democrat from Youngstown, Ohio. Ohio. Mr. Hagan, I appreciate your time tonight. Thanks for being here. You're welcome, and thank you for allowing me to tell the rest of the country how uh, insensitive and ridiculous my Republican colleagues are in the legislature. Well, Ohio is, is one of the states around the country where Republican lawmakers are pushing forced drug testing for poor people uh, who are applying for public assistance. What, what do you think is, is motivating that? Rachel, there's a couple of things that motivate that. Uh, and, and let me first start out by saying that uh, our governor, John Kasich, worked for Lehman Brothers. And uh, you and every, pretty much all your uh, people that are the viewers know that uh, Lehman Brothers went under. Uh, he was a vice president of Lehman Brothers. And Wall Street started to go under. Bankers, uh, st banking started to go under. And so they asked and begged for additional help from the taxpayers. But when uh, John Kasich, uh, Lehman Brothers vice president, decided between the time he was a congressman and the time he became our governor, um, he lost a lot of money and he came uh, to the uh, state house trying to pretend that that actually did not happen, that Lehman Brothers did not go under, that millions and millions of dollars were lost on Wall Street and it hurt Main Street. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to move the discussion away from really what's happening, what they've done and destroyed uh, many people's opportunity for the American dream, so many people's opportunity to get health care. They've moved the discussion away from the issues of jobs, and they keep bringing up issues uh, about uh, attacking working people. This issue, too, uh, in Ohio is extremely important, taking away the rights of, of uh, police, uh, fire, and teachers. That's what they're trying to do. So they're moving the subject, moving the issue away uh, from uh, of what they have done, and they've destroyed this country, turned it upside down economically, uh, and now they're trying to pretend that let's do this in a most insensitive way. Let's show the people that we're going after the, the poorest by testing them. But that's not only just the poorest. Uh, it's people that are on, on um, uh, uh, workers' comp, people that are, on, uh, uh, that are laid off and getting uh, uh, benefits for, for being laid off. Those individuals also under their plan would be tested. What I say, and uh, clear, plain English is what's good for the goose should be good for the politician. Let's start texting. Let's start testing the Supreme Court justices, all the legislators, all the people that are getting money. We have a Jobs Ohio program where millions and millions of dollars are going out. So many more millions of dollars that, got, that have gone out uh, to the Wall Street uh, friends of uh, John Kasich, much, much more than they have uh, uh, against the, the poor people. So, you know, they take away the dignity of the poor people. They're already struggling, trying to find a, a, a better way to make a, make a living, get a job, uh, provide help health care, even maybe uh, give the opportunity to send their kids to school, and they end up having to go through this drug testing. So I said to Kasich and uh, the rest of the Republicans that uh, if you want to do that in a very insensitive way, then you should uh, subject yourself, too, to the drug testing uh, and alcohol testing that you're trying to uh, push on some of the poor people. What, bottom what line is this. Bottom line, Rachel, is this. You, you cannot uh, divide us the way that they're trying to do. Uh, if you're going after the poor, then we have to go after those that are wealthy and those that are the elite. They should subject themselves to. They're getting money. All of us are public servants. All of us are getting tax dollars. So we should, we should also be subjected to the same type of test. And that, that bottom line is actually what I wanted to ask about. I mean, the, the part of the reason so many national eyes have been on Ohio is because of the response, the backlash to what's happened in Ohio in the past year, Governor Kasich's agenda and the Republicans in the legislature. Do you feel like as people are doing things like fighting SB5 with this issue two campaign, trying to repeal that union stripping law and the other response and backlash there's been to that agenda, is that turning to a broader discussion about who public policy ought to help uh, and who it's being used to punish. Are, are people sort of having that broader discussion now in Ohio? 
Well, we're trying to have a broader discussion. Uh, police fire and the teachers who are under attack uh, have finally decided that uh, they're going to be uh, politically involved and they're going to make sure that uh, this issue, too, uh, does go down to defeat, that people vote no. But the discussion really is uh, it's sometimes very difficult in the legislature. I have railed against some of the, uh, the plans that the Republicans have, um, have uh, uh, promoted on the floor of the Ohio House. I have uh, screamed and yelled uh, to my constituents to get involved, to talk about about um, uh, contacting their legislators and contacting other politicians because this agenda that the Republicans are pushing is a damaging agenda to the American dream, to people being uh, participants in that. And so, yeah, it really, it makes me PO'd. I, I really get upset when I, I'm trying to, to fight for, for so many people like this and the agenda keeps shifting and people keep talking about issues, about attacking the poor, about attacking working families, about attacking teachers, uh, upending education, uh, cutting local government funding. This is what they think is all right because they don't like government. Republicans don't like government. They don't like it, I guess. Maybe they should just find another job. But quite frankly, I'll be there to fight them every step of the way. Democratic State Representative Robert Hagan joining us from Columbus, Ohio tonight. Uh, thank you, sir, uh, for joining us tonight. It's nice to meet you. It's thank nice you to have so you here. Much, thanks. Rachel. All yeah, right. Thank Best you. new thing in the world coming up.